Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a mango haul with a try on. So let's get cracking. Hiya, hope you're all okay. I'm doing really well. I'm having a lovely day doing filming and things. So I've got some content to put up this week. Although my hair is incredibly frizzy. Look at this, what's happened? I did try straightening it, but clearly that's not worked. Um, I'm not very good at straightening my hair anymore because of the hand problem. Because I can't actually hold a comb in this hand successfully. It's a bit like, um, you know, I'm trying to wield a tool that won't work. So I'm trying to comb through and use straighteners with this hand because I can't use the straighteners with this one because I've got no proper strength in it. Um, and so, yeah, it's very hit and miss when I straighten my hair. But we're, we're rolling with it. I'm not going anywhere, just coming on YouTube, you know. Um, right, so Mango. Um, right, somebody said in when I did a Zara haul um, last week, that they couldn't get sizes there. So, but Mango, for all it very much reminds me of Zara, but I prefer it, I do prefer it. Partly why I prefer it is they do a whole range of sizes on the website. So not in the store, and I've no idea why that is. In the store, they're all the smaller sizes, and I tend to be the biggest size they do, um, which is ridiculous that a size 14 is basically as big as it gets, you know, sort of 14, 16 is as big as it gets in the store. But online, they do a whole range of sizes, you know what I mean? In fact, I'm not even sure um, whether it goes up to 3 or 4 XL, right? Yeah, right. So, um, much broader range of sizes, which I much prefer. So, I don't tend to go into the shops because inevitably my size won't be there anyway in the shop because the bigger sizes tend to go quickest anyway um so i do when i'm looking at mango i go online um right so and i have also got a mango outlet um haul coming up soon but um i'll tell you about that later so i went on the main mango site anyway um, I used to shop on there absolutely loads back in the day and always had really nice stuff, um, you know, from there. I really, really like quite a lot of the styles, the very simple designs, um, but I really like them. You know, they tend to be sort of either wide leg trousers and a small top or a big top and narrow trousers. Those are the sort of styles that they do. And they do skirts and dresses as well. It's just, I don't tend to look at those. Um, so I went on there anyway. I thought at least um, it, it, people will be able to get sizes. You know, it's a bigger range of sizes for people. No point me showing you stuff that nobody, um, you know, that people feel excluded from. I don't like that idea. I will occasionally do a Zara haul, but I wanted to include other shops where there's a bigger range of sizes um you know because if i'm struggling at a size 14 you know that's ridiculous frankly you know given that the average uk size is sort of that size and bigger you know um so anyway right that's my protracted way of saying i went on mango and had a really nice look look on there um, and picked up some bits. So I'll show you what I got anyway, right? Put my gigs on. I'm sorry about the fan buzzing, but as soon as I start filming, I'm baking up, right? So I'm having to roll with it. I'm so sorry for it buzzing. Eventually, the country will cool down again. I can go back to not having this on. Although then I will have the problem with the light fading at about three o'clock in the afternoon. So I have to get up crack of dawn to be able to film. But anyway, that's by the by. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, you know. Right, first thing I bought is this top. I thought it would be a nice sort of going out top. Not that I go out anywhere, but I do occasionally meet up with my daughters, you know, and go for a pint, um, you know, or a drink and some food, do you know what I mean? So anyway, I got this. It's in like this um, shiny fabric that's ribbed. It is quite see-through. Can you see that? It is quite see-through, but it's got a V-neck at the front and at the back. 
and it's got quite a long body um, and reasonably wide. I think it's going to be wide enough that it's not going to be clinging over my widest bit, which is around my middle, you know. I bought this because mango sizes, a lot of them are like small, medium, large, extra large. So I bought this in a large and it was $15.99. Okay. So, um, yeah, I really, really like it. I love the colour of it. It's like this goldy colour. Um, just really loved it. Thought it'd be really nice. I, I actually envisioned getting a pair of, like, satiny um, wide leg trousers to go with it. I haven't got those yet, but maybe so I'll look on there because they do have that kind of thing on Mango. So maybe next time I place an order, I'll have a look to see whether I can get myself some satiny black trousers um, to go with it, you know, um, make a nice sort of more sophisticated way of doing the outfit that I wear every single day, which is a wide leg of pants, palazzo pants or lots, and, um, and a top, you know, and then a cardigan or a jacket, you know, that's my sort of uniform style. Right, so next up I got this. Now it's very thin, it is, very see-through in this cream colour. But what I wanted it for was to put it underneath other things. Um, so yeah, it's got a long sleeve, a uh, very long sleeve actually. It's in this thin ribbed fabric, very fine knit. It's got a round scoop neck at the front, higher at the back, and it just goes straight down. Now it, on the wee lassie on the website, it must have been a size six if she were a date, um, and uh, on her it looked quite fitted so I thought I'm going to size up in it so I did I bought it in an extra large and this was does it tell me on here no does it echoes like I'll have to put it on screen I'll look it up later okay but I did think it'd be a nice layering piece you know underneath other things so very very happy with that Um I think that's going to be nice now this next thing I didn't want to buy okay I looked through on the website and at first I saw it and I thought, nice white t-shirt, put it in my shopping bag and then um, realised that it got this thing on the front and thought, yeah, that's not for me. Would it let me remove it from a shopping bag? Would it echo like, right? So I spent ages trying to remove it and at the finish I just thought, I'm buying the blinking t-shirt. It was 5 99 it wasn't expensive. I thought, I I've given up. I'm just buying the t-shirt but I did wonder whether that were a kind of ploy you know to get people once they put it in the bag there's no going back kind of thing you know when it went because sometimes I put lots of things in my shopping bag and then go back and edit later on um so this t-shirt is now mine right um it is just a white t-shirt with a little fitted in sleeve just traditional t-shirt with a rounded neck but on the front it's got this little heart that says, I adore you. Okay, with a little lock. Right. I'm, <laughs> I mean, right. It's not really my style. It's very young, is that, isn't it? You know, but um, yeah, it were in my bag. Like I say, it was 5 99 I bought it in a large. Um, yes, I may wear this. It may actually, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. It's going in at my pyjama drawer. That's what's happening with it. Because I don't want to leave the house with this on. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. It, like loads of people were telling me on one of my videos that they wear hoodies. Great. I'm sure you look fabulous in them. I just look like, they, they just don't, I don't feel like they suit me at all. Right. So if you're my age or older or you know, around my age, and you wear things that have got little logos and stuff on, fabulous, great. If that's your style and that suits you, I ain't knocking it. I'm sure you look fabulous. But on me, I just feel like mutton, you know, dressed as lamb. So um, I don't think it's my kind of style. Plus, I haven't got a right lot that red will go with, you know, in the way of bottoms. So that it'd have to go with something like black bottoms or something like that, very plain sort of bottoms. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to wear it out the house. So I'm going to put it in my pyjama drawer. Do you know what I mean? I can always do with another pyjama top. I don't tend to, right, this is what happens. I get my pyjamas on on a night and then I think, 
I'll sit in bed and make myself a pot of tea or something. Inevitably, while I'm drinking pot of tea, I'm dripping it down the front. So I'll have my pyjama tops on one day and the back in wash because I've got tea spilt down them. You know, a pot of tea or a pot of coffee spilt down them. Sometimes I've spilt so much down me, I have to change them before I even get into bed because I put my pyjamas on. when I, Once I've got myself washed when I come home from work, pyjamas go straight on. Do you know what I mean? So... Um, yeah, I might keep this. The brilliant thing about white as well is if you get tea or coffee down front, you can bleach it out. So this is going to end up in my pyjama drawer, I think. I don't think it's going to be the sort of t-shirt that, you know, I'm going to want to go out in. But anyway, it, it, it would not leave my shopping bag. And that's the truth. So um, tis what it is. Anyway, next up, I bought these trousers. I absolutely love them. Um, bought these in a large. It doesn't say on them either what the price was, so I'll have to put it on the screen. They're a pair of wide leg pants, but they're a lot smarter and more sort of thicker weight than some of my summer weight ones that I've got. So they've helpfully got elastic across the back, but they are flat across the front. And they've got, um, they're very creased, I have to say. They're going to need a right good iron. Um, but they've just got straight wide legs. Um, have they got a um, crease going down the front or is that just an accidental crease? They've got a, a supposed, um, you know, like a purposeful crease going down the front of each leg. But there are so many other creases on them at this point from being packed up in the bag that it's um, it's difficult to see that. But there is actually um, a purposeful crease going down the front. So I'll have to remember to iron that back in. As I'm after I've worn them, you know, or before I've worn them, frankly, I'm not going out of house in them, and, you know, in this condition. But they're in this lovely green colour, and I absolutely love the fabric. Have they got any pockets? No, they haven't. They weren't that expensive, though. They really weren't. And I thought they'd be great for sort of going on to the autumn in this nice sort of greeny khaki colour, you know. Um, just loved them. Thought they were nice quality, so um, yeah, I'm trying to pick up a few more things that are going to take me into the autumn. My daughters went to the range, um, and uh, one of my daughters came yesterday. Well, she came on Friday, stayed till yesterday, and she bought these little pumpkins um, and from the range, and it just made me feel like autumn's coming. Autumn's coming. I'm so happy about it. So. Yeah, nice that I've got some trousers that are going to start taking me into the cooler weather. Also bought these. Now, they're quite thin weight, but they are a nice sort of brown colour that will also take me into the autumn. These are elasticated all the way around the top and very stretchy. They're in like this crinkle fabric. Also a wide leg pair of pants. But I just love this gingery brown colour. I bought these in a large... And I'll have to put the price on the screen. So, yeah, absolutely loved them. Really, really happy with them. I'm going to have a look, see if they do these in other colours, you know, because I like them so much. Same with the green ones. Um, see whether I can pick up some in a different colour, you know. Because um, they weren't, like I say, none of these were super expensive. You know, when I think about mango, I always think more pricey. But none of these things that I bought this time were that expensive. So very happy with them. Love that brownie colour. They feel nice. They are like a polyester fabric, are they? Um, but they feel quite nice, you know, like a softer polyester. Um, oh, my goodness. Look at the tags, though. Holy moly. Why do they put tags like that on them? Yeah, it says that they're made with polyester and recycled polyester and something else, but I can't read the tag for the next 15 minutes. I just don't have it in me to be bothered. I've had to read through half of this tag here, right, to find out everything about them. So, because it says 40% um, recycled polyester, and then it says recycled polyester in every other language before you get on to the next thing. No, I can't be bothered looking at them. So um, they're mostly polyester anyway. So they're, um, but they do feel like nice trousers. They don't feel like that horrible, scratchy, unpleasant or shiny polyester that I can't stand. So very happy with those. So um, yeah, not a massive haul, 
but I really like most of my pieces that I got, with the exception of the t-shirt, which is going to be all right for a pyjama top. So I'll go away and try them on, and I'll insert the try on now. Okay, these don't go together at all, but <laughs> I had to put something on with something. Right, these pants are not massively oversized, but they fit me fine, you know what I mean? Um, in future, I may size up to the extra large, which um, feels a bit bad, really, that I'm having to do that. But um, I'd just add that little bit extra room around the top, which I'd appreciate, in all honesty. But they are a really, really nice pair of trousers. I do like them a lot. Um, they are a little bit sort of baggy in here. Um, so maybe not oversizing in them. But I think with certain things, it'd be really nice. I think it'd be a whole lot better uh, ironed. You know, they are quite long in the legs, but still a little bit cropped. Um, and they do feel comfy on, you know. Um, although I am wear aware that I'm wearing entirely, sorry, I'm wearing my everydayers, right? Okay, so massive knickers. And I'm also wearing a black bralette, which might not be the best thing for a try on really, but you know, it's what I've got on. Um, I really like the top. It is showing every lump and bump, but I wouldn't wear it with these, which would, sh you know, I've got a little bit of an overhang on these trousers. Um, I would wear this top sort of possibly tucked um, with um, a pair of black satin trousers. And I think they'd look really nice. You know, it would look really nice with those, um, I think. I'm not convinced about the top, in all honesty, um, because it's very clingy. You know, it's sort of, yeah, maybe it's not. It might be all right, like I say, tucked though. Yeah, it's better like that, isn't it? covers up a little bit of me on yeah that's a lot better um slightly tucked with black satin trousers i think um but i probably need some advice on this not overly fond on where the arms cut off if i'm honest i'd rather it were down here somewhere or higher up let's try and fold it see whether i should shorten them Obviously not like this. I'd, I would hem them under, not over. Um, but yeah, do we like it better with the shorter sleeve? I think I like it better with the shorter sleeve, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, but I'm not convinced about this top. That's what I'm saying to you. I'm not convinced about it. Um, the trousers I really love. So we'll be keeping the trousers, I think. I will show you the back. Um, back of the trousers and there's the back of the top um, it needs a proper bra on with it as well you know so one that pushes my boobs up um, and don't flatten them down you know what I mean so I look like I've got a mono boob at the moment um, but yeah need some advice on this top let me put the sleeves back down so you can see um, yeah need advice on the top uh, is it to is it clinging to all my bits that i don't want it to cling to and making me look even more sort of lumpy um than i want to be because if that's the case i don't want it you know let me see uh pushed up bra yeah i think it might be all right but do need some advice on it really need some advice on it right i'm going to try the brown trousers with the um cream top before i try on my pj t-shirt you know what i mean right i'll try those on now okay i would never wear this like this okay this i want to wear something over the top in fact let's see what i can wear over the top so like this do you know what i mean so maybe not with a v-neck but with a round neck sort of t-shirt over the top to make it sort of more of a um, an autumn um, outfit. Um, so yeah, I like this top for what I want it for, which is as a layering piece under short sleeve tops. Like I say, I'll probably wear it with a round neck, not this V-neck. Um, but yeah, I really like it for what I want it for. Not to wear on its own, absolutely not. Love the trousers really like the trousers there's loads of room in them they feel super stretchy 
and I like them very much. So um, this I'm keeping because it's, you know, I did want it as a layering piece to put underneath other things, but I just couldn't find something in the short term to put that would adequately go over the top. But this is the sort of thing I want it for, to make long sleeves out of a short sleeve top. Okay, and I love the trousers. Um, probably wear them with something covering my bum a bit, you know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, really, really like these. Love the colour, absolutely love the colour. I know they're cropped, but I think with a pair of chunky boots, they're going to look really nice. So, um, keeping both of these, I think. Um, yeah, definitely keeping both of these. Um, so, yeah, like them. Like I say, not like this. Right, do you know what I mean? Not like that. Don't want it to look like that, but do want it for underneath other things. So very happy with both of them. This is, I want to get this in black as well. I'm going to look to see if they've got any of these in a sort of a black colour um, or browns or something like that because I just really like, you know, being able to put a really fine knit long sleeve on under other things. So happy with both of them this outfit doesn't look good together but um yeah i know i was gonna wear these you know i'll wear these with a longer top that covers my bottom a bit because you can see like at the back you'll be able to see my bum and my knickers so i want something to cover my bottom to go over this a uh, pair of chunky boots and this to go under sort of t-shirt style tops or um waistcoaty things do you know what i mean like knitted uh vest type tops okay so happy with them even though um i've put together a particularly shocking outfit you know what i mean but anyway right uh it is what it is i'm, I'm pleased with both of them i'm going to be keeping both of these so i'll try on the t-shirt that i never wanted in the first place so uh yeah let's give that a go why not Okay, it's over a black bra, look, look at this. What were I thinking when I started trying stuff on? Honestly, I actually don't mind this t-shirt at all, even for going out of the house, but I probably won't wear it. It's a bit eye next for me. So I think this will be one of my pajama tops. This is full of like pajamas here. Um, so I think this is gonna be one of my PJ tops going forward. It is very, very high necks. I'm not overly fond on it being so high necked, you know, to wear out, but not worried about that for, for a pyjama top. So, um, yes, I adore you, T-shirt. You're going to be a PJ top. So that's all my things. Um, I'm sort of like that about um, the shiny top, but we'll see anyway. Okay, so I'm not mad about um, my little, my mini uh, mango haul. Um, yeah, I quite like um, the trousers. I like the trousers. Um, and the cream top will be fine as a layering piece, like I say. Um, what were my other things? The white t-shirt um, is absolutely pants, but it'll be all right as a pyjama top. I knew that should have come out of me, uh, me shopping bag. And what were my other thing? This one, though, I'm not sure about at all. Um, I think this is clinging to my lumps and bumps. Um, so I had big plans for it, but actually I think I might end up sending that one back, you know. Um, I just felt a bit like self-conscious in it. So um, sadly, I think that one's going back. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I might end up sending the white t-shirt back when I'm thinking about it. If I'm going to be sending one parcel back, I might as well stick in the white t-shirt, you know, because it is incredibly high necked. Um, so I've actually ended up with a top and two pairs of trousers and I like the trousers best of all, I do. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I might end up sending that white t-shirt back. Because like I say, I never meant to buy it. it that I just had no way of getting it out of my shopping bag, you know. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. Um, and that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!